right, so each card is going to have its individual meaning, and the placement is also going to have meaning as well. Okay. All right. So the present. Ooh. Lots of change happening for you. Lots of change. This is either change in location, living situation-wise, relationship, job, something huge uh, is shifting. I think some of this might have been a little bit unexpected, but it's actually crumbling away that what no longer is in alignment for you, what no longer has purpose in your life. You know, the, the two people essentially jumping from the building can represent like a splitting of some kind. So here, um, also the lightning bolt can represent there was some sort of aha moment, some sort of epiphany, something that shook something to your core, something um, that it, it, it was maybe a surprise, but also it even could represent that there was some of this that was actually welcomed by you, like you actually welcomed some of this change. Um, because this is present, this change either already occurred or is going to be occurring within the next four months. So let's see, she's laughing over there. <laughs> you mean like unexpectedly getting laid off, moving out of your house and oh traveling the country God. for a whole year? <laughs> well, yeah, that is a lot of change at once. So this card makes a lot of sense. So honestly, it's because that wasn't meant. You know, like it could represent that whatever that was, it was not built on a solid foundation. Like it was it was eventually going to to fall apart anyway because there was something else that's just better off for you more in alignment for you with you okay. and that's what that there is nine of pentacles so you will enjoy your time doing this and traveling and doing uh, things for a while but you're also going to be very focused on your financial here very soon very shortly so you're going to try to figure out ways to create income. And also this can, again, represent long-term investments, saving. Um, it can represent uh, real estate buying, property purchasing, um, you know, doing bigger things with your, with your financials, with your money. Um, also, because it is over this tower moment, um, it could even represent something shook up, you know, the financials here going on. So um, when it comes to this, make sure you're very solid and secure within this because I'm seeing you're gonna have to be rebuilding a lot of things. Okay. Especially this part of things. Home, financials, stability is going to all be rebuilt. That's what's influencing um, this tower moment right here. Okay. This is your past. Hmm. So in your past, um, you were feeling very stuck about something. Um, there was something you weren't seeing clearly. There was some sort of sort of blindfold, essentially, uh, that you were wearing or that you had on. So it felt like you were stuck. Um, it felt like you were being limited in some ways. A lot of this might have been self-imposed limitation restriction, but because it's in the past, I'm not really seeing any of that for present. This is very much so like a moving forward, a crumbling of, you know, things that that you were no longer wanting to do be, you know, things like that there. But in your past, you were feeling very stuck in some way and you weren't sure how to kind of get out of that. Um, so you were really looking at a lot of your beliefs and um, your ideas and how that was affecting your life and how that was affecting your relationships and how that was affecting job. So really going through a lot of your mental thoughts right here. Okay. Um, that was past though. Uh, this is your moving forward. Ah. So taking a risk. Um, this is jumping off into the unknown. This means you have no idea where you're going right now, but you don't care. Hence the fool. So see, he's like, la la la, about yeah. to walk off the cliff. He doesn't even care <laughs> that he's about to walk off the cliff, like because he just knows that he can trust in his process. He can trust in his journey. He can have faith that even though he takes the jump off the cliff, 
that everything is going to be as it should be and as it needs to be. Um, it's funny you said something about traveling because he's got his little pack His on. little hobo pack. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a dog. <laughs> yeah. So are you traveling with your dog? No, I'm pet and house sitting my way around the country. Oh. And so dogs are how I'm able to, I don't have a house or a home base. I'm just traveling full time. And the dogs are giving me the ability to do that. Ah. And yeah, I have no idea where I'm going to be two weeks, three mm -hmm. weeks in the future. And I don't care. It'll all work out. There's yeah. plenty of people that I know and love that I can stay with if I can't line up another house sit. Yeah. And I'm super neurotic and anal retentive and have to plan everything out. And I'm trying to teach myself not to. And this mm. journey is definitely helping me do that. And I never trusted that everything would work out. And now I'm just like, whatever, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because in your moving forward, this, this card literally represents taking that leap of faith. And so regardless, you know, it looks like he's going to jump off a really, really high cliff there. But for all he knows, it's like there's one little short step right below it, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, and so it really represents the taking that leap of faith. Um, and it is adventure and it is wanting to journey into the unknown. Um it's a really cool card because it's also because he's the joker the jester um you're allowing yourself to be more playful and you're allowing yourself to just overall have a more carefree existence um and for you less is more especially right now this is the um near future so he's all about determination um and i see you have your eyes set on the prize or the goal because it's in its hand his hand it's easily attainable here so you can easily make this happen he's on the horse he's gotten back up he's he's ready to move forward he's ready to have some fast-paced movement but I do see because this is pentacles you have to stay super practical with how you're going to proceed in the situation. Even though you have this carefree existence, this you know happy-go-lucky thing that's going on here, you're still grounded, you're still on earth, you're still needing to figure out, okay, how can I make things happen, essentially. And also, um, and it's funny because you said something about planning and stuff, <laughs> that there is an element to that with this guy too. And it is also uh, knowing how to self-motivate knowing how to you know keep going until that goal that money that idea that whatever that is right there is attained so you'll keep going you're not going to stop and give up so easily this is in your near future so near future mm, you're still going to be traveling <laughs> and um, you might decide to do that before really settling down i see lots of fast-paced movement but again make sure you stay practical the block mm. the block the five of swords so interesting because this is clinging to past so something in your past you're hanging on to there um because it is swords it represents air there's something on a mental level something mentality belief um, that you're hanging on to. So let's see how you're needing to like let go of that block or move past that block because you're you're hanging on to something there. Oh, my card wanted to fly out. Okay, so the block. Also, you're not. You need to allow yourself to rest. There is a slowing down going on here. You're going way too fast okay so make sure you slow down think of the options meditate over the options juggling jeez i have all pentacles and swords yeah. <laughs> so you have a lot of thought going towards the financial stuff right now you're trying to figure out how to really make this continue to work um and so for this you're juggling multiple priorities jobs so you're going to find that you're going to be continuing to do odd jobs odd things 
um, doing many different things at once, but overall doing an excellent job at the multitasking that you're doing right here. So you're juggling many different things, but it's still balanced. Um, you know, you're still able to keep your footing. You're still able to keep grounded um, as you do it. Though, make sure you're not multitasking to the point where you're getting distracted or, or, or multitasking too much where you're not able to actually focus on one or the other. This Eight of Swords means that we're moving on to new pastures. So it's interesting, I said there is something you were hanging on to. So in this block placement, it's like, what do we need to leave behind? What can we no longer take with us? Um, material things, uh, people, places, friends, you know, jobs. You said you've kind of already been experiencing a little bit of that, but I'm seeing that there's still more things you're trying to work through, very much so on a mental level. That's why all these swords are coming up. Also, all the pentacles are coming up. That's the financial aspect too. So you're trying to figure out ways to make money. You're trying to figure out ways to where you can maybe be more self-sufficient here while still enjoying being very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, minimal right now. So the more minimal you are, the less you need on your journey, the more you're actually gonna be gaining from that because you'll find simplicity there. This is the hope and dream. I got more pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of pentacles here. I had cups and wands and pentacles and, and, and swords. swords. <laughs> you're, you're really thinking on how you can generate things. This is a building. So you're trying to hopes and dreams. I'm seeing you want to create different forms of income. Sometimes this can be passive, sometimes it, you know, reoccurring, but I'm seeing this won't necessarily be done in a traditional way or sense. But I do feel you're trying to figure out how you can build this. This is definitely momentum. There's something that you're definitely building here. You're working up towards something. Um, this also represents now too, um, how you're needing to uh, more so save your money rather than spending it. So hopes and dreams, you really, really want to figure out how you can build there and do this um, here. Yeah, I'm trying to not go back to a corporate job and build my own business and that do my own thing. And I have a couple of ideas that I'm wanting to explore, mm -hmm. but I haven't decided which one I want to put all my energy into. Right. So that's what I've been trying to figure out on this crazy journey of mine. Right where I want to live, what I want to do, who I want to be. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. Fear, worry, concern. So six of cups. So interesting, this card is usually about emotional balance. So it's interesting that it's under the fear spot. Let's pull some on that. This is emotional balance, this is emotional stability the Six of Cups. This is overall balance. This is giving and receiving. This is give and take. All right, fear, worry, concern. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So, you Okay, so it's interesting because this is all about conquering your fears, literally. <laughs> so what emotion is bringing up fear? How do you release the emotion that's feeding the fear? Or how do you face it to where you're conquering the fear? This is also like taking a risk too, which could be scary for you. Yeah, I'm not a risk taker. <laughs> And I like everything planned out. <laughs> so this is kind of facing it, dealing with it head on, overcoming the challenges, finding the strength and courage to, 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 to you know, make it through. I'm trying to do all the things that scare me while I'm on this adventure. There you go, because the things that you fear are actually a clear indication of what you need to do next. 
So it's there not to keep you limited. It's there to actually show you like, hey, this is what I'm needing to work on and towards. And that fear is um, only something I can see. No one else might be able to see that. But it's how do you work on through that. Again, it's funny because you get she got that card too, yeah. but in a different spot. Again, remember I said the give and take here. Mm -hmm. This is what this is all about to give and take. How is this in balance? How are you able to keep this balanced here? There's certain things you want out of life. Okay, what do you need to give in order to get that what you want out of your life? So this is also sensuality. Um, this is renewal. Uh, this is balance. Um, and this is also, again, vulnerability and allowing your true self to shine, essentially. Allowing yourself to shine so bright. Some people might not like that. Some people might fear it. But continue to shine anyways. And so that's what this is. I'm also getting from this and this. Make sure that you're not... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, don't be afraid to be seen. I think that's what a lot of this is. Don't be afraid to be seen. Six of swords. Wow, again, more I have swords. Five, six, seven, yeah. eight of swords. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, nine, night. So a, a lot of your mental energy is definitely going to be expended focusing on your financials right now, big time. And, and, and how you can build upon that. This means that, um, and this is what's influencing you. So there's, just be very, very careful where your thoughts are going. Pay very, very close attention to your thoughts. Are these thoughts conducive? Are these thoughts hurting you? You know, so just be really, really, try to be as mindful as possible of those thoughts because you don't want to have thoughts that are working against you or against what it is that you're trying to create and do. Also, you need to throw self-doubt out the window. You need to throw any sort of second guessing. Um, any of that needs to be thrown out the window here, especially with that Six of Swords. Ah, outcome, discovery. So also, you're on your own little self-discovery journey right now too. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is you working through your fear here. And as you challenge yourself, you're going to start to discover new aspects of yourself. This is also new horizons. Also, it's no use to cry over spilled milk. I'm seeing now is the time to choose and clearly choose the direction you're wanting to go in and stick with that. And don't allow people to persuade you, talk you out of it, uh, put fear into your plans. You know, whatever that might be there. Don't allow yourself to be deetered um, or offset because of what someone else, you know, is saying or stating. So make sure you're following your own individual path there. Hmm. And that's your future outcome. So I think discovery, it, it does represent self-discovery, but I honestly think it's a discovery of new places, which will then also lead to discovery of yourself, essentially, as you start to find pieces of home and the other places that you go. Every place that I've gone, I've been like, I could see myself living here. <laughs> I, I want to come back here. And yes. I, I was like, well, the point was to pick a place to go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're going to stay put for too long. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready to. And I'm like, okay, how long can I conceivably do this with what's in savings and how much income I'm bringing in? And it's a quarter of my old salary. So how do you budget that when I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing when I get there? So budgeting is interesting. And I've never been that good at adulting. So I'm just <laughs> like, um... <laughs> Yeah, you're, that's why, that's, I think, why you have all these swords and why you have all these pentacles is because you're thinking a lot about the financial aspect. How can you continue to live this style? What do I need to, what do I need to support myself in order to continue, you know, this sort of lifestyle? What, what, what lifestyle am I wanting to build? And this minimalism is very attractive to you yeah living out of a single suitcase and being like all right this is what you got you don't need to buy stupid stuff you don't need like <laughs> you don't need to take it with you keep it under 50 pounds <laughs> mm -hmm. if you don't use it every day then not important yeah mm. 
interesting card. So, so politics, so systems, essentially politics. So what sort of systems are you operating in that might not be beneficial for you? Um, also too, I feel like somebody may not be approving of your choices right now. I wanna say it might be a family member, but the only reason why it's like that is because they're like scared. You know, they, they, the uncertainty that you're diving into, that unknown you're diving into, they're just like, what the heck are you doing? You know, um, I have a feeling it might be a family member that just is a little bit afraid of that. Or they're expecting you to kind of fall in line with things that they did, but that's not what necessarily works for you. And it won't work for you. Hi, mom. <laughs> ah. Okay, so that's what that is. And she has the best intention, see? But underneath it, it's because she's she's just afraid, you know? And she's like, why is she doing that, you know? Yeah, she's... she doesn't say it to me. She says it to other people. Ah, so she won't say it to your face. Okay, so this is weird because see the mask thing uh -huh. going on? There's two faces <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so that essentially could represent that too. And, and not necessarily being two-faced, but it's just like, oh, yeah, it's all okay. But then underneath, it's like, I'm so scared she's doing this. Oh. Yeah, but now she wants to do what I'm doing, so maybe she's figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, So that's kind of, I'm going to have to read this one to you, especially just because of, I, I was saying earlier, you know, especially with this, this simplicity is going to be the hugest thing for you, the simple things. Um, so this is about finding magic in the ordinariness, the everyday life, the mundane, the, um, um, it, and it sounds so weird, but it's like finding the magic and having to do your laundry, cleaning a house, uh, walking down the street, doing the grocery shopping, you know, just those simple little mundane activities. I'm also getting stop and smell the flowers. Don't quickly rush to and from each place. Make sure you're kind of taking it all in, taking in all of your surroundings, enjoying it, mm -hmm. and then moving on to the next. So make sure you're allowing yourself to completely absorb and take in your environment. Uh, that sticks out to me. I'm gonna have to probably read that one for you. Okay. Mm. So sharing, so literal is sharing. So even though you might not feel you have very much, it's about sharing what it is you have. Sharing of time, energy, food, money, resources, tools, you know, whatever it might be, it's overall you're in a very sharing energy. Um, and the flowers behind um, is how are you sharing or needing to share more intimate time with others, more connection with others, giving more to others. Um, even though it seems like we don't have a lot, what can we still give and offer, you know, to others? How how can we share our time with others? Are those sunflowers or daisies behind her, do you think? Mm, I think they're daisies because sunflowers are black in the center. And some of them are yellow in the middle, but yeah, yeah most, most likely black in the center. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Why does that kind of stick out to you? Well, because I'm blogging about all of my adventures and sharing all of my tips and tricks from all the places that I go. And ideally, if I need, like, that's what I would like to be doing is to help share this experience of being a female alone, traveling and seeing and doing all the things that you could possibly want to do. Yeah. And sunflowers have been a huge part of the adventure. So mm -hmm. um, I named the van that I was traveling around Alaska in Van Gogh. And oh, I, I got the it. sunflower flag for it. Nice. And so sunflowers have been popping up ever since. And Van Gogh has been a big part of the journey. So nice, nice. I really Cheers. like that. Oh, okay, cool. Come on in. All right. Oh, so the source, the energy, the universe, God, you know, whatever you want to call that there. So honestly, you're being super supported by the source as you go through this little journey. This is also kind of like an egg, an embryo. So it's like, it, it's, it is a creational thing. So you're literally birthing something right now and it's gonna be huge. I honestly think you're gonna try to find ways on how you can 
monetize from your experiences. And something you said about sharing and doing your different things here, how are you gonna figure out how to get paid yeah. to do that? I think is gonna be the huge component because people are literally, yeah, they're getting paid for that stuff. Especially like those YouTuber people <laughs> where like they travel and they get like hundreds and thousands and millions of views. Like they're, they're getting paid for that, literally mm -hmm. just to go and like try these foods and recording weird videos and you know, doing just weird little, you know, things yeah. essentially mundane things and people like are are drawn to that so you're creating something from your own source energy very much so a fire energy too whoa both of you guys got this in the same place <laughs> <laughs> all right well done yeah so the the physical you know exhaustion again just make sure you're slowing down Make sure you allow yourself to enjoy every single place that you experience and you go to. I think I'm gonna read these two. Okay. Shoes are straight. You can come in if you want. Yeah, she can come in. There's a little oh, seat right water. there if she wants to. Oh, okay. Water. If she wants to. But there's nowhere to like, get anything to drink on this strip. I don't know if I'm walking through there right now. Let's see. The. Ordinariness is rainbow. Funny for my last reading, I was like, I want to find magic. I find magic in all the little things, and I appreciate it so much. And every part of this journey shows me something new to appreciate that seems really special. And yeah, I love that. that's really cool. I love that. So as this figure walking in nature shows us that beauty can be found in the simple, ordinary things of life. We so easily take this beautiful world we live in for granted. Cleaning the house, tending the garden, cooking a meal, the most mundane tasks take on a sacred quality when they are performed with your total involvement, with love and for their own sake, without thought of recognition or reward. You are facing a time now when this easy, natural, and utterly ordinary approach to the situations you encounter will bring far better results than any attempt on your part to be brilliant, clever, and otherwise extraordinary. Forget all about making headlines by inventing the latest widget or dazzling your friends and colleagues with your unique star quality. The special gift you have to offer now is presented best by just taking things easily and simply one step at a time. There's that simply thing coming in again. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it happens that you become one in some rare moment. Watch the ocean, the tremendous wildness of it, and suddenly you forget your split, your schizophrenia, you relax or moving in the Himalayas, seeing the virgin snow on the Himalayan peaks. Suddenly a coolness surrounds you and you need not be false because there is no other human being to be false to. You fall together or listening to beautiful music, you fall together. Whenever in whatsoever situation you become one, a peace, a happiness, a bliss surrounds you, arises in you, you feel fulfilled. There is no need to wait for these moments. These moments can become your natural life. These extraordinary moments can become ordinary moments. That is the whole effort of Zen. You can live an extraordinary life in a very ordinary life, cutting wood, chopping wood, carrying water from the well. You can tremendously be at ease with yourself, cleaning the floor, cooking food, washing the clothes. You can be perfectly at ease because the whole question is of you doing your action totally, enjoying it, delighting in it. Hmm and the sharing. I had a feeling it was going to go into something like that with the ordinariness. The sharing. Let's see, that's a fire card. There it is, 50. 50, mastery of action. The queen of fire is so rich, so much a queen that she can afford to give. It doesn't even occur to her to take inventories or put something aside for later. She dispenses her treasures without limits, welcoming all and sun dry to partake of the abundance, fertility and light that surrounds her. When you draw this card, it suggests that you are in a situation where you have an opportunity to share your love, your joy and your laughter. And in sharing, you find that you feel even more full. There is no need to go anywhere or to make any special effort. 
You find that you can enjoy sensuality without possessiveness or attachment. You can give birth to a child or to a new project with an equal sense of creativity fulfilled. Everything around you seems to be coming together now. Enjoy it and ground yourself in it and let the abundance in you and around you overflow. As you move above the fourth center, that is the heart, your whole life becomes a sharing of love. The third center has created the abundance of love. By reaching to the third center in meditation, you become so overflowing with love, with compassion that you want to share. It happens at the fourth center, the heart. That is why even in the ordinary world, people think love comes out of the heart. For them, it is just a hearsay. They have heard it, they don't know it because they have never reached to their heart. But the meat, but the meditator finally reaches to the heart. As he has reached to the center of his being, the third center, suddenly an explosion of love and compassion and joy and blissfulness and benediction has arisen in him with such a force that it hits his heart and opens the heart. The heart is just in the middle of your, all your seven centers, three centers below, three centers above. You have come exactly to the middle. Hmm. Wow. Very cool. All right? Very powerful. Yeah. All right? The sharing. That mm -hmm. went a little bit more into more than I thought it was, you know, mm -hmm. of just the sharing. So, so what it's mainly saying is like now is the time to share your heart. Um, now is the time to put your heart into your passions, into your dreams, into your ideas and, and sharing with others along the way. So that's probably why you're going to continue to document and you're going to continue to like do your experiences and stuff. Cool. So there's no romantic love in any of my cards. <laughs> Honestly, no. Nope. Honestly, no. Not at this moment. You're on a self journey. Mm -hmm. And you're going to continue to be on that for quite some time. There is actually not one romantic card actually that came up at all. You're mm -hmm. really focused on self and your own path and taking your own risks and facing your own fears. The life of a spoiled spinster. I can do whatever I want. I just have to do it alone. <laughs> For now. It, it doesn't need to be a permanent thing. But you're honestly going to enjoy it. And you're going to learn a lot from doing it. Yeah. In that way. Cool. Thank you. Have done for yourself. Well, I'm always alone. So it's not that. It's never <laughs> been <laughs> But yeah.